Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Today we are going to be planning our draft. OK, so we are still writing in the third person. So we are still referring to Dorothy as Dorothy and she and they and them and Scarecrow and Toto. So we are not using I, me, we, us um, pronouns like that. OK, so we are writing in the third person. So our plan today is going to be similar to how we did it for the last um, piece of writing that we did because I thought that worked quite well because you were able to clearly see the points that you wanted to write about and you could check that you had written about them so we are going to plan in that way again okay so our narrative is going to be made up of three parts okay so we're going to have part one setting the scene so we're going to tell our reader all about where Dorothy lives um, not sorry, not where she lives, sorry, where she is. Um, we are going to talk about um, what is around her. And we might talk about them starting to move on on their journey. OK, so we might have somebody um, so they're starting on the rest of their journey. So remember this narrative. She's already met the Tin Man. She's already met the Scarecrow. You could have the Lion in there if you wanted to as well. That's completely up to you. But remember, she's going to be meeting this new character on her journey. And then we've got part two, creating suspense. So this is where we will describe Dorothy having to go through a dark woods. Okay, so we're building suspense. So we might use short sentences. We might use some ellipsis. Um, we might use some longer sentences to slow in the pace and then some short sentences to pick the pace up with our reading again, OK? So it's where they go through the woods and um, they might hear um, almost like scary sounds, like frightening sounds, like grumbling from the woods, if you remember. In the story, in the novel and in the waggle, Toto heard these growls coming from the bushes, didn't he? And he didn't dare growl back. That's how scared he was. And then they hear um, a low growl that is close to them, which turns out to be our new character. OK, so our new character, this is who we planned yesterday. So we will be introducing him so we will tell his story. So I will want to know about um, why he was changed. I will want to know about um, what he wants from the wizard. OK. And we might put in there that I need to know about his what kind of character is he. So his character traits. But remember, we said, didn't we? We wouldn't just say um, the sawhorse was a funny character. Um, we might say that on the journey, as they continued on their journey, the sawhorse made Dorothy um, laugh with delight with his jokes that he would tell. Or he was chatty, so he never stopped talking, making the dark woods become less scary or something like that. OK, we wouldn't just say he was chatty. They were um, rude. She was uh, boring. OK, we would use almost like show not tell but with um character traits so this is how we are going to set it out so it's just like we did last week so i've got the part across the top so i've got part one setting the scene and then i am going to do my key points that i want to write about so obviously i want to write about the setting so i want to make sure i have written about where she is when she wakes up. So I want to say that she's in a cottage. So I want to tell my reader she's in a cottage. I want to tell my reader about the sound. So she might hear birds. Oh, she might hear a stream. She could hear Toto playing. OK, then I want to tell my reader about any sights that she can see. So she might be able to see um, munchkin cottages in the distance. 
she might be able to see um, the sun beaming through the window. And lots of other things, okay, so you could add more to yours. What she can smell. So she might be able to smell um, flowers, grass. Um, she might have baked, she might have been given some baked goods. So she might smell baked bread or something like that, okay. We might also want to write about what she can what she might feel so i might use a bit of show not tell she might be feeling um a bit happy she might be happy that she's with her friends but obviously i wouldn't just say dorothy was happy i would use some show not tell there so i'm going to put that in my vocabulary in a second she might be feeling a bit a little bit worried or tired if she's been walking a really long time okay and i want to make sure i say that dorothy drank from the stream And that the scarecrow suggests they move on. Okay, so you need to have somebody suggesting that they move on to keep your story going. Okay, so it could be the scarecrow, it could be the lion, it could be the tin woodman, it's whoever you would like it to be. Okay, let me try and make this a bit longer. So there's my point. And you can see that didn't take me very long at all. So I've just thought about what I learned in the waggle, what I know from the story so far, and so what I want to write about. But remember, you'll do this for part one, part two, and part three, which are here. Okay. So then I'm going to think about the magpie that I did yesterday. So in front of me, I've got my magpie piece of paper that I magpied my vocabulary onto. So I would, if I was you, I would go back to yesterday's work and find your magpie and find the vocab that you magpied from the waggle as well, okay? So I want to use the word abundance. Oh, if I can spell abundance today. Abundance, so I could refer to the... Um, the trees, the fruit on the trees, or the amount of food she had, anything like that. I want to use the word chirping to describe the birds. Sweet aroma to describe what she can smell. So aroma refers to smell, doesn't it? So it might be the flowers. It might be something being baked. It might be the smell of the trees. Or the water could be magical water that has a, um, a sweet smell to it as it trickles on by. I might use the word dainty to describe the houses or quaint. Dwelling. So all of these three words here, dainty, quaint and dwelling, they're all from the Wizard of Oz text, aren't they? So I'm keeping them with the same theme. Companions, that was a nice one that came from our waggle yesterday companion so that means almost like friends doesn't it friends she's going on her journey with i might say um use the word trickling to describe the water the water was trickling by um some show not tell she might giggle with delight she might have the scarecrow making her laugh possibly laugh possibly um and that is, and I might use the word heartily as well. They use that in the book, didn't they, to describe how the scarecrow suggested they carry on with their journey. So I think I will use the word heartily as well. Oh, if I can spell that one right. Heartily. Okay then, so you can see I've got my um, part one, the key points I want to write about, and then my vocabulary that I think will up-level my writing and make it sound amazing, okay? So your task for today is to plan part one, part two, and part three, okay? Using this here to help you. If you do need any help, please let one of us know. Make sure you are sending your work in as soon as you have done it, okay? Thank you very much. And
I look forward to seeing your work.